regret your tweets given that backlash, sir? Ahead of his rally tonight in North Carolina, Donald Trump speaking to reporters. Do you have any regrets at all about the tweet, about what he said? About what? Like the tweets from Sunday. Do you feel like they've... No, if people want to leave our country, they can. If they don't want to love our country, if they don't want to fight for our country, they can. Uh, I'll never change on that, no. The U.S. president has repeatedly defended his tweets about four Democratic congresswomen of color, saying the posts were not racist. On Sunday, he tweeted in part that they should go back to the totally broken and crime-infested countries they come from. The women are all American citizens, three born in the U.S. This is a disruptive distraction from the issues of care, concern and consequence to the American people. Last night, the U.S. House of Representatives voted to condemn Trump for racist comments against the four minority lawmakers. Four Republicans and one independent joined Democrats to support the symbolic measure. Also on the House floor, Democratic Representative Al Green introduced his articles of impeachment against Trump over the president's comments, a move he defended this morning. Today is the day that we will take up the opportunity to punish the president for his invidious behavior. He was found guilty yesterday. I supported that. Today, we take a punishment. This is the third time Green has called for impeachment to be considered in the House. It was not immediately clear if he would succeed. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has tried to restrain Democrats from initiating the impeachment process against Trump pending a House Judiciary Committee probe, in part into whether he obstructed special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. With all the respect in the world for Mr. Green, we have six committees that are working on uh, following the facts in terms of uh, any abuse of power, obstruction of justice and the rest uh, that the president may have engaged in. Uh, that is the serious path that we are on. Switching gears now to what we might learn tomorrow about Michael Cohen. Cohen, of course, Trump's former longtime personal lawyer, now serving three years in prison. Well, federal prosecutors in New York have wrapped up a campaign finance investigation into Cohen, who helped facilitate hush money payments to two women who claim to have had affairs with Trump, affairs Trump has denied. Well, today, a judge ordering that materials related to that investigation and to the payments be made public. And that's set to happen tomorrow morning. The judge saying the campaign finance violations discussed in the materials are a matter of national importance. Now that the government's investigation into those violations has concluded, it is time that every American has an opportunity to scrutinize the materials.